communion child and their parents or guardians will come into the sanctuary. If you would then go to either priest on either side of the aisle. And then uh, after everyone from First Communion received, we'll invite all of you to receive as well, okay? We hope you enjoy this beautiful day. Uh, thank you for sharing these beautiful children with us. And let's say a prayer for them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you to watch over these beautiful children. Today we witness so strongly their joy and their innocence, and we pray that's never taken away from them by the evil of this world, but rather it's preserved in their hearts by the love they have for Jesus and by the care that they have from their families. We pray that this day is not just special for today, but it's the beginning of a wonderful journey of faith for each of these children and for their families. And so we ask you to bless them and all of us gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If I could just ask you to remain quiet in silence. Uh, my phone is buzzing, which means they are lined up and ready to come in. So uh, please remain seated while the children enter. And when we start our opening hymn, we'll invite you to please stand. Okay? God bless you.
Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for the special First Communion Mass, let us ask God's forgiveness and his love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the Paschal mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we, who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ, may experience continued increase of your saving grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. If I should be seated as our children now share God's word with us.
A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses told the people, the, the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land. It has a lot of streams and springs that flow from underground rivers in the valleys and hills. Wheat and barley grow there. And you will also find figs, grapes, pomegranates, olives, and honey. You have all you want to eat, and you will never run out of food. You can make iron from the stones in that land, and from its hills you can dig copper. You will have all you want to eat, and you will praise the Lord your God for giving us this good land. The, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> The shepherd, gentle Lord, you know us as you are. Jesus, Savior, Lord of Lords, in your love God is known. You are the shepherd, we are the sheep. Come, good shepherd. The followers of Jesus spent their time learning from the apostles, and they were like a family to each other. They also broke bread and prayed together. Everyone was amazed at the many miracles and wonders that the apostles had worked. All the Lord's followers often met together, and they shared everything they had. They would sell their property and possessions and gave the money to whoever needed it. Day after day, they met together in the temple. They broke bread together in different homes and shared it, their food happily and freely while praising God. Everyone liked them. Each day the Lord added to their group others who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. <laughs>
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some people brought their children to Jesus so that he could bless them by placing his hands on them. But his disciples told the people to stop bothering him. When Jesus saw this, he became angry and said, Let the children come to me. Don't try to stop them. People who are like these little children belong to the kingdom of God. I promise you that you cannot get into God's kingdom unless you accept it the way a child does. Then Jesus took the children in his arms and blessed them by placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I invite you to please be seated. <clears throat>
Well, our children have prepared some very special prayers for their mass this morning. I'm going to ask the children who are going to lead us in those prayers to come forward and ask all of you now to please stand. That was me. Well, Heavenly Father, these children come before you now to present these, their prayers, and their hopes. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope Francis, may he and... He, he, may he and the bishops of the church build up the body of Christ in peace and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, may its light shine in every corner of the world, bringing hope and love to all in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have helped us prepare for this day, especially our parents, teacher, our parish clergy, and all of the people of St. Rose, may God bless them for their love and goodness to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our grandparents, godparents, family, and friends here with us today, may God always bless us with love and happiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here today who are receiving First Communion, may we always love Jesus and thank him for coming into our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout our world and for the safety in those in our military, May God watch over them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the family members who live with Jesus in heaven, may they have eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all these intentions and those we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Well, Heavenly Father, these are the prayers your children bring to you today. In your love for them and for us, we ask you to answer them, for they are given through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We invite you to be seated now as our children prepare the altar for their first communion mass. to 
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make us holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 
I could ask our, just our grandparents to stand and if you would be seated. <laughs> I want to thank so many of you who have made the effort to be here today to celebrate this moment in your grandchild's life. I know that some of our grandparents aren't able to travel or they're not feeling well. Some live with Jesus in heaven. But we're so grateful that so many of you are here to celebrate this day. I, I think you know how precious you are to these children, and I'm sure they know how precious they are to each one of you. You know, yesterday our school principal kind of made a joke at Grandparents Day. He said, Grandparents and grandchildren have something in, in common. They have a common enemy, parents. <laughs> That's why children know where to go. They go to you, their grandparents. And you know, you have a rich legacy to teach these children by the way that you've chosen to live your lives. You know, last year it was kind of sad to me. I was encouraging the grandparents to pass on legacy of faith. And after Mass was over, this little girl came up to me and said, you know, my grandparents don't go to church. They have a boat. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Because if anybody's going to be a powerful example to these children, it's going to be you. It's going to be you who live the faith, who know how important it is to keep your faith in God and to keep that deep trust in his love for you. And I hope that you will continue to be a powerful example to these beautiful children. They need your love, but they also need your faith. And I know that these children have great respect for each one of you. So I'm going to ask our First Communion children to go find their grandparents, and I want you to give them a big grandmother and grandfather hug. Okay, let's have everyone please stand. <laughs> As one family in faith, let us pray together the words that Jesus himself gave to us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other this sign of peace. Oh.
Once again, I would ask that our First Communion child and their parents or guardians join me in the sanctuary to receive communion. And if the other guests in the pew would go to either Father Christoph or Father Alphonse. Also, before you come forward, we ask you to make a simple reverence. When the person before you is receiving, if you would make a simple bow and then step forward. If you are not Catholic or not properly disposed for the sacrament, we invite you to come forward and simply cross your arms over your chest and we will offer a blessing to you. And if you require a host that's reduced in gluten, you can go either to Father Christoph or to myself. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Well, each year we have uh, chosen the theme of butterflies, a, a beautiful gift to us in springtime, and every year we think maybe we should try a new theme, and people say, no, no, let's stay with the butterfly. So these children have pre prepared a special song for you uh, as their communion meditation uh, called the butterfly. So we're gonna invite the children to come forward now, and we're gonna invite your audience participation during the song, okay? I'm going to ask our parents now if you would please kneel and turn to page 10 of our program. We invite you now as parents to join in this prayer of consecration for your child on their first communion day. We pray it together on page 10 as parents and guardians. Lord Jesus, today the child you gave to us received first Holy Communion. You ask us to teach our child about your love and we pray that you give us the strength and faith we need to accomplish this. We came to you at the dawn of our child's new life so you could share your divine life in the sacrament of baptism. On our child's first communion day, we ask you to be food and strength for our child. You gave your life so all of us could be redeemed, and we know you are with us in a special way in the Holy Eucharist. We ask you to guide us in our lives as parents and guardians, 
so that we may draw closer to your love each day. Take our hand and share your light that we may lead our child to you. We know you are always there for us to bless and guide our family in your love. We ask you to lead us to the life that does not end. We thank and praise you, Jesus, Son of God. Amen. I want to uh, ask our parents just to stand for a moment. You know, I thank you, first of all, for the care that you give to your children. As you know, you are the primary teachers of your child in the ways of everything that is right and good and holy. And we hope that as you continue on your journey as a family, that you are able to give to these children through your example all that they need to live holy and good lives. There's an awesome responsibility to become a mother or to become a father, and you've accepted it with great grace. And we're here today to support, to thank, and to encourage you as you continue on that journey. This is not their only communion. This is just their first communion. And this church is open every day to come and receive Jesus if you choose. Please don't like, be like the apostles of that gospel and push your children away from Christ. Bring them to him and let him embrace them. On behalf of all of us, we thank you for being such loving and caring parents. And I'm gonna ask our children to give you a special first communion hug. Congratulations to all of our parents. Huh? If you see there for just a moment, <clears throat> we are blessed to have a very vibrant community here at St. Rose. I know many of our guests uh, say they hardly ever see young people in their church anymore, and yet this church is just filled with them, and we're so blessed by that. I, I, and as a result, a, a day like this doesn't happen by magic. It happens by an incredible amount of commitment and work. So I'd like to begin by thanking our religious education, our faith formation staff. Uh, Kate, stand up. Our uh, communion coordinator, Meg. Our grade two level coordinator, Tammy. And the next person you'll be encountering, the confirmation coordinator, Mary. And the one that does everything else that those three don't do, Kate. I also want to thank our many catechists who commit themselves every week to work with your beautiful children. We're very blessed by their faith and by dedication, our catechists. I also want to thank our religious sisters, Sister Mary Ellen and Sister Thaddeus. We're blessed as a parish. And I want to thank uh, my brother clergy, Father Alphonse, Father Christoph, and Deacon Norm. As well. As you know, uh, many of the songs that we sing during communion, you don't hear too many other places. And that's because they are composed just for St. Rose by our fantastic folk trio, Helen, Trish, and Andy. So. I again have to thank our men in the red jackets. Uh, I, I cannot get over the commitment these men have made since 2012 to be on guard to protect our children at everything that happens in this parish. Uh, they give hours beyond anyone's expectation. And I, I thank them for their commitment to their training, to updating that training, and to have a vigilant eye on all of us. So as you leave today and you see a man with a red jacket on, take a moment and just say thanks. I know they'd appreciate it. God bless you guys. I have to uh, thank our altar servers. We have an incredible amount of young people that serve at this altar, and we had so many volunteers, but we could only choose some. So we chose siblings of uh, those who received their sacrament today. Uh, we're very blessed with these young people that love to serve at this altar. I, I know we have well over 150 of them uh, who serve weekly at, at the altar. So altar servers, my thanks to you. I didn't know him already. You know, the sisters keep you in line. 
I think I got every, did I get everyone? I hope, I think I got everyone. Well, thank you all, especially for being here with us today, and I hope it's a joyful and happy day for all of you. We're gonna come through now and present the children with their certificates and with a little gift from us for happy First Communion Day.
So children, families, parents, godparents, grandparents, thank you for coming today. And there's one thank you that we didn't give out yet, and that's to Monsignor Bob for this beautiful church, for all that he has done, for the inside, how beautiful it is outside. So thank you, and for this beautiful day. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Father Bob. Before you leave, children, make sure that you take your butterfly with you today. That is yours as a keepsake of today. All right, thank you very much. Let us pray. May sharing of the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together as one through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. If you have any uh, religious articles you would like blessed that you gave to our communicants, uh, all three of us priests will be available after this Mass this morning, or this afternoon. Have a wonderful day today, and God's best blessings to all of you. And please don't leave the church yet till we get out. <laughs> Just stay in your seats, okay? <laughs> all right, our closing hymn. Chill.